Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Once again, got another little project here in the garage. Um, I'll take you through it here. This one's actually a little concerning <laughs> for me. So again, I know this one's not that big, not as big as the others that we've done, but you can see the way this body line is on there. Um, it's a pretty sharp body line. This is a 2019 uh, Ford Edge, and this paint has like, I don't know if you, if the camera can pick it up, but it has like a, like a tri-coat, like a pearl in it. So um, the body shop says it's going to be really expensive to paint. This is a lease return car. So the customer just wants it looking good so it can get through the lease return process. You know, and of course we're gonna fix it right, but um, they're trying not to paint it because if they paint it, you know, and fix this area, then they'll have to blend into the doors, strip things, you know, the new pinstriping and things like that. So um, we're gonna try to do this so they don't have to paint it, make it look really good. Um, and we'll take you through the process here. So again, with this, we're gonna have to tap down this big high spot here. And then if you can see it up underneath, it's dented pretty good. Um, so it's kind of hit up like that. I don't know what hit this car. Um, so again, it's not a big dent, but this is gonna be a tough one. Um, so we'll take it slow. Again, we'll take you through the process here. I'm gonna heat the paint up a lot um, on and off with a heat gun just so the paint doesn't crack while we're like kind of trying to get out this deepness here on this edge. Um, not really to soften the metal, but pretty much just to save that paint. So uh, we'll get going, take you through the process and uh, see how it turns out. So this is kind of interesting. So remember before how we tapped that high spot and got that looking good. And then when I started working the bottom here underneath, I started pushing that out. You could see it's, it's coming out decent. But look what happened to the top. So now where that high spot was, it's kind of low, so that's interesting. So that metal is moving around there underneath when I'm working that out, it's actually sucking that top part down. So just something you'll have to play with. Again, every dent is different, every metal's different. Um, it's not a big deal at all. We'll just have to work that top part out. So it's just when you're, when you're pushing metal and things like that, like things can, move around and change so just something you have to adapt to and uh we'll we'll keep going on this and then see how that uh how it all works out but it should be fine just something i figured i'd show you so uh you never know what's going to happen like i said this one was kind of concerning to me for how sharp that dent was that was coming out um i didn't know if i was going to have access even touching behind the dent but it's gonna come out good. We just gotta keep working with it. I can touch it pretty well and, and everything. So we'll keep going and, and show you the final results.
Dent came out great. Customer should be really happy with it. Doesn't have to go through the body shop, get painted, and mess with this tricolor paint or anything like that. So um, it worked out. It was a tough one. Like I said, every metal is different. Every kind of car is different. Um, so this one kind of wanted to walk around on me when I started working out the dent down low. It started, you know, sucking down the top part and had to work that and just chased it around until I, I got it to where it should be. Um, again, that's one of the things you want to take it slow. If you try to rush something, that's when you kind of run into problems and you're just causing more work for yourself. So like I said, when you're tapping it down, you don't want to just like hammer it in there and just, just, uh, you know, make all divots and things like that. You're just causing more work for yourself in the long run. So if you take it slow, tap it down nice and, nice and gentle, um, that way the fine tuning at the end process doesn't take as long. So, um, hopefully you liked the video. If you can like subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or you want to see other videos, leave comments below and uh, we'll see what we can do and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.